Namaste, my name is Dhiyo and welcome to my channel. Today I'll tell you how magically you can manifest money into your life with this one mudra called the Kuber Mudra. Now there's a lot of, lot of uh, misconception about the Kuber Mudra which I'll slowly tell you about. But before I say anything, there's a lot of misconception about money also that people have in their mind and a lot of people preach about money that money is evil. The root cause of all your problems is money. Now the ones who are preaching this, like let's call them preachers, spiritual gurus, motivational speakers or all the people who have the money, have that money. Have that power, have that money, have worked really hard for it, have done various things to get that money and now these are the ones who are telling you money is bad, money is evil and I'll tell you why they say that also. So now a lot of spiritual gurus will also say don't go after your money, don't go after your manifestation, just be in joy and bliss, stay in that and everything will come to you. Joy and bliss is another energy, money is another energy. So a lot of people when they say, you know, money cannot buy joy. So similarly, joy cannot buy money also. There are two different energies and they should be treated completely different. No one person should be saying money is not good for you and joy cannot buy money and money cannot buy joy. That's your opinion and that's what's worked for you. It should be remained with you. Or when you preach it, you should say, okay, this is what worked for me. You decide what works for you. So somebody like me who believes in money, that power of energy, I also believe that any form of power, it could be money or anything else, will enhance who you are, what you are. If you're great, you'll become greater. If you're an ass, you'll become an asshole. Similarly, if you are somebody who's generous, you will become more generous when you have that kind of energy in your life. So if you are from that school of thought or that mind thought or process, that money is evil, then my friend, you definitely have some amount of money right now in your wallet, in your bank account, in your house. I'll be more than happy to help you out to take that evil away from you. So shoot me a mail. My mail is in the description box. And for the rest of us, let's just go make money now. So now the Kuber Mudra, it's a very famous Mudra because everyone wants money. Fair enough. We need money. We're living in a world where money is extremely important. So now a lot of people there's, there's a misunderstanding and there's a little confusion. So if Kuber is the god of wealth and money, what is Lakshmi Madan, the goddess of wealth? So I'll simplify this and I'll tell you exactly how this mudra works. So now let's say goddess Lakshmi, Lakshmi Ma is the owner of a bank which has a lot of money, a lot of wealth. Kuber is like the manager for that bank. So all the other gods will contact the manager, meet with the manager, keep their wealth over there. They don't get in touch directly with Lakshmi Ma. So now when Kuber is the manager, so now if let's say in your case, if you have to go to the bank to get some money, to get some loan for yourself, house loan, personal loan, business loan, any form of loan, you don't go meet the bank owner directly, but you go meet the bank manager. The bank manager now has a set rules. Depending on, okay, let's say if you've gone to get a personal loan, they want to see how much money do you make monthly so that you can give that loan back with that amount of interest, right? So indirectly, that's a very, very polite way of them checking what is your worth? What is your worth? That the money that you're asking, are you worthy enough to take the money from us? Are you worthy enough to repay that loan with interest? So these are the things that they will first check your job profile, your profile, where do you work, where do you stay, all these things. And accordingly to that, they decide whether you should be getting that money or no. This is the same thing that Kuber is doing. So now when people aimlessly are thinking that, okay, by just doing this mudra, we're going to get in all the money. No, the right way of doing Kuber mudra is to have that understanding, to know the truth that by doing this mudra, your worth is going to increase. The way the ether, the matrix, everyone sees you, your worth is going to increase in the way now that let's say right now you are in a particular field, you may get a promotion. You may be shifted to another job. To, to be shifting to another job, this job will have to get out of your hands. For whatever reason at that time, you may think that, my God, I got fired. No, because now you've been wanting more money. You've been taken out from that job and now you've been put to another job. Anything like this, you're an artist and you're trying to make a name for yourself, something or the other will start getting into your favor, which at that time you may think is not in your favor. Your music contract, your film contract, anything can go wrong so that you're being pushed to another direction because now you're wanting that more money. Your worth in front of Kuber will increase. That Okay, you want that money? Be in a place where now you are worthy enough 
to get that money because like i said so if the bank wants you to give the money back with interest now when you get that money kuber the bank manager wants to see what good are you going to do with that money this could even be the lottery so let's say somebody who is worthy enough to get that lottery is now going to be seen whether okay this person is going to do good or bad with that money the minute they see that okay this guy is just blowing up all the money without any reason and all boom they'll make you blow that money in such places that all of a sudden you'll be without that money so your worthy enough increases when you hold the kuber mudra now why do a lot of spiritual gurus and all say that no money is not good money is evil and a lot of preachers and a lot of rich people who have that money also so somewhere down either they know about it or their soul knows about it who's using this body to communicate that message is so now let's say there is a tower we all are reaching to that tower for money so the minute you start spreading the word money is not good money is not good the amount of people reaching towards that tower which means the amount of energy that is reaching that tower of money starts becoming less so the ones who know about it now it's easy for them to start manifesting it think about it this is why this entire word this news has been spread that money is not good money is evil money is turn you bad blah 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 these are the people who have all that money so now when people are not aiming for money they keep aiming for that money they keep doing their kuber mudra they keep doing their manifestations and they keep getting richer rich are getting richer poor are getting poor because of this so kuber mudra how do you do this 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 thumb represents the supreme we call it shiva you can call him allah you can call him jesus god whatever suits you whatever works for you so for now let's call it supreme the thumb represents supreme the index finger represents you the soul the middle finger represents akash or the ether akash is not the blue sky ether is what is holding everything that vast space this is that vast space where all our gods are so even kuber the god of wealth the manager of wealth is sitting up there so when all three of you connect is when you're worthy enough to do something your job your profile your mannerism the right words will come for you to sell your business everything starts working in your favor so that you can be in that place where now you're worthy enough for that money to come to you just like i said when you go to a bank they will first see what your past records are where do you work what job profile how much do you make per month according to that they give you a loan or they may refuse you that loan in any area of your life that you're looking for so this is how you do kuber mudra it's simple that's how you do it all of us at some point have done this hand gesture when we're talking about money show me the money you know there's a reason why all of us subconsciously are doing this either you've seen somebody do it or you've done it yourself ah, give me the money show me the money so this is why we do it this is the kuber mudra the thumb the index finger the middle finger come together the rest of the fingers are inside you don't need to hold it too tight just keep it very soft keep it on your knees when you're meditating but the main thing is you decide how long you need to hold it i shouldn't be telling you because if for me it works for 5 minutes for you it may take 15 minutes or vice versa you decide how long you feel comfortable doing it but the biggest power behind any spiritual practice is knowing the truth behind why you're doing this if you're going to sit here thinking that okay money is just going to drop in from somewhere no once you know that okay i'm doing this so that now something or the other is going to be orchestrated in my favor so let's say now if you lose your job have that in your mind that you asked for more money this is why the job is going have that in your mind that you lost lost that project that person from your life is gone so that now the person who is probably blocking you or a new person has come into your life let that new person come into your life they will push you to another direction be in that awareness that's the truth the spiritual practices are nothing besides the beyond the truth that is that is there that is a fuel to those practices so again this is how you do it just get these three fingers together point them upwards sit comfortably know the fact that now your worth is going to increase so the money is going to be in abundance unlimited amount of money is going to be coming your way so yeah like i said once again i'll remind you if you think money is evil shoot me a mail and i'll be happy to take that evil away from you if you like this video give it a like subscribe to my channel until i see you again have a good life namaste